Hi there. I want to talk to you about a very unusual and very fascinating subject that is very real, even though it may seem uh, to be a part of the realm of mythology and elements of the uh, study of psychology. Basically, I'm referring to how the subconscious intrudes into our life. Uh, some scientists or researchers seem to think that our subconscious uh, composes over 95% of ourselves. If you took a pie and cut that up into sections, you'd see that what we have left is 5% of a 360-degree circle of energy. That means the energy that resides in our subconscious is very powerful. It's so powerful that it produces a field. This is a secondary field. This subconscious or secondary field also has a persona. It has a personality. It has an existence. The fact is it has a number of existences, which is one of the really weird things about it, because it's split up into many different aspects. Some of these aspects are so strong that they actually comprise a separate personality altogether. And to prove this uh, point, I'm going to ask you something. Look into your own life and ask this question. How many times have you tried to do something but noticed that you almost got to that point and suddenly sabotaged yourself? Created some other kind of diversion, uh, redirected your energy suddenly in another direction. Uh, some quantum physicists call this uh, behavior of the quantum field, uh, that is uh, unpredictability, uh, sudden alterations from the so-called linear, the norm, uh, this external reality, this small chunk, this small piece of our lives that we claim uh, to be our own here in the physical, uh, we call this external self. Well, this external self only occupies, as I said, a very small crust on an ocean, like flotsam on a sea of, of other probabilities. These internal waves have power and force. I'm going to tell you about something that I dreamed about the other night to emphasize this. The other night, I dreamed that I was trying to find my way back to my house. And as I did, every time I got really close to the point or the, to the street, which would take me in the probable direction of where my house was, and I should have known where my house is. After all, I've lived here for over six months at the, this location where I'm at. Somehow my energies would get diverted strange? Well, it, it's not so strange and it does uh, personify or expose an internal aspect of myself. And this same aspect resides in all of us. You see, as I got closer to this point of where I should find my way back, I'd suddenly become diverted. I'd get off course. And as I did, I'd suddenly find myself on another road. In the dream, it was very frustrating and very tiring because I found myself far off course on another road totally different than the one that I wanted to be on and so far afield that I'd have to turn around and go all the way back. Well, I did this several times in my dream. Finally, and it seemed that I arrived by way of an arc uh, far outside of the normal pattern that I should have to find my way back to my house which told me that deep within myself there was a tendency to get diverted by some strong internal force or power. Interesting enough, right after that I had a dream about a friend that, who had passed away. Now, I have many dreams of people who pass away and some of my best advice comes from people not in the physical plane. This person had passed away over a year ago and strangely, he was showing me a knife inside of a vest pocket. This knife seemed to suggest right at this invariant point 
or this alteration point from one reality into another, uh, this diversionary point, this critical limit point almost, you might say, suddenly some problems would erupt. Well, I woke up, wrote the dream down, which is uh, what I normally do with interesting dreams, and I recorded it, thinking about it, knowing that it was quite significant because uh, it, I knew it had to be synchronous. Synchronicity is a principle which works on wave patterns, uh, where waves uh, diverge, or waves break and or meet or converge, depending on the way in which they uh, interrupt each other, uh, different kinds of realities take place. And I think that these are significant uh, critical limit points, energy points, where one uh, reality 